Hello everyone, my name is Michi Ayuandira. I'm here to explain the principal and major concepts of linguistics. The concepts are synchronic and diachronic, substance and form, competence and performance, lung and parole, syntagmatic and paradigmatic. So let's get started. 1. Synchronic and diachronic. Synchronic linguistics studies how a language works at a given time, regardless of its past history or future blueprint. This has also been called descriptive linguistics. It means that we describe linguistic phenomena that occur at one time or another. For example, you want to study the affix phenomenon, so you must know how many affix are there at one time. Diachronic studies about the change and development of given language through the passage of the time. This has also been called historical linguistics. So, for example, we study about the development of English language from 18th century to 19th and 20th centuries. Next, we go to substance and form. In substance, we learn about the letter and sounds. Form is the arrangement of sounds and letter. So, we go to the example, the word man. So, the form is the man, and the substance is a M, A, M letters and M, A, N sounds. When the letters M, A, N and the sounds of its letters arrange together, they become a form of language like this. Next, we go to competence and performance. Competence is a second knowledge of the no of the language. Competence involves knowing the language. Performance, the use of the language is in concrete situations. Performance involves doing something with the language. The example of uh, competence is when the nat native speaker read new book and he find a new expression and sentences which he had never read before, but he doesn't feel any difficulty in understanding them. Performance is what actually the speaker says. Next, we go to lung and parol. Le language denotes a host of heterogeneous traits that a speaker possesses, such as his ability to produce speech acquired through heredity, his inherent ability to speak, and the external factors that trigger and stimulate speech. The language has have it has a uh, two concepts. They are lalang and la parol. Lalang is more directly indicative indicative of ability to produce speech. A kind of institutionalized element of the community's collective consciousness. La parol is uh, active and denotes the actual speech act of the individual. Last, we go to syntagmatic and paradigmatic. Syntagmatic is association between one sound and one other sound and then form words and have a meaning. For example, the word read in, is a succession of phonemes R, E, D. Paradigmatic is association between one word and one other word since they have the same meaning. For example, the English word learning will unconsciously call to mind a host of other words like study, knowledge, disciplines, and etc. I think that's all for me. Thank you so much.